The communities in South Alabama are cleaning up today after Tropical Storm Gordon, with Gordon making landfall along the Alabama-Mississippi state line. That meant Dolphin Island took some of the strongest winds and surged from the storm. Katarina Lukatek shows us what the storm left behind. As soon as the sun came up, Dolphin Island police drove us in a Humvee to survey the damage left behind by Gordon. We've got a lot of work to do, but uh, I think, you know, it's a lot better than what we thought. We saw sand covering the main roadway for several miles. While not much damage to homes, there was one roof lying several yards from where the house sits. When we made it closer to the end of the island, that's when we started to see a lot more water covering the road. As we made it down to the West End Beach, you can see the parking lot, it's still here. That shows Dauphin Island saw much less damage than we did a year ago during Hurricane Nate. Driving down here after Nate, you know, we, we were driving across sand as deep as, you know, three, four to five feet deep covering the entire roadway. And so we certainly don't see that this time. But there is still cleanup needed after Gordon. Crews will work to clear what sand is there off the roads as the water recedes. The primary issue seems to be the side streets. That's where most of the sand seemed to accumulate. And so it's just going to take us a while to get some of those things out of there. A checkpoint is set up at Raphael Sem Street. For now, only those with homes on the west end will be allowed through. But this cleanup is expected to be much quicker than what we were dealing with last year. On Dauphin Island, I'm Katarina Lukatich.